Welcome to Living Gets Real, I'm Ashwini Vedakhan and joining us on the show this week in a game of Never Have I Ever is singing sensation Natasha Ratnayaka. But before we get into the show, here's a little sneak peek into her life. blind date. No, I haven't gone on a blind date. <laughs> uh, never have I pretended to know someone to avoid an awkward conversation. Okay, I have. <laughs> okay, I have. Uh. Whoa, that's strong. <laughs> um, is this a classic? Well, I'm gonna get drunk here. Never have I ever cut a day of school. Oh, I have many, many, many times. This is so familiar. Never have I ever been attracted to a cotton character. I've always liked SpongeBob wear pants. I have um, also liked, uh, I still like Hey Arnold, Arnold from Hey Arnold. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the two cartoon characters I've, um, I've liked. Never have I ever cheated on an exam. Oh, I have cheated many, many times. <laughs> I, have, I have cheated. Um, Um, Amen. Never have I ever tried cutting my own hair. No, I haven't. Never have I ever set something accidentally on fire. I have. <laughs> I think I have quite a few times actually. Um, I think I'm also known as a pyromaniac because I like setting things on fire. Um, Okay. This is number four. Uh, okay, it's really hard. Uh, never have I ever told a white lie. I have in the past, but not not recently. So, um, okay, the last one. Never have I ever been arrested. No, I have yet. <laughs> I won't get arrested in the future either. <laughs> now that I have had all of these espressos, uh, it's time for me to go for a run because I'm like, really popping. <laughs> I'm really, really energized to the point where uh, I need to kind of disperse that energy. Um, so um, I don't need any any more energy boosters. So I'm going to put it to good use now. Okay. 
Thanks, guys. Welcome to the show, Natasha. It's good to have you with us. Thank you, Ashwini. It's a pleasure to be here. Natasha, you've been in the industry for a while now. You're a seasoned musician in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So what do you consider the pros and cons of working in the music industry? Uh, some of the pros uh, that I have experienced is just doing what I really love doing from my heart. And uh, especially my music, uh, dancing, just getting creative. I mean, you really explore your creativity to the max. And uh, the adoration from your fans and uh, just living your best life and not really allowing people to put restrictions on or put a damper on what you want to do. Uh, the cons, there are a couple of few cons actually. Uh, being um, when you're an entertainer, especially on stage, and you know, sometimes you are invited for parties, uh, anniversaries, uh, funerals, sometimes you can't attend because you have to be on stage. Um, and you miss out on some special family gatherings and that has been pretty much my life uh, all the time um, and sometimes it's really hard to make your relations understand because I mean it really they really don't understand the nature of your job um, uh, another con would be that um, some of the fans uh, you know send like weird stuff on social media, especially you know when you open open your DMs in in the morning, you see all kinds of stuff, you know yeah. things that you don't want to see. Um, I've even had fans ask for my underwear. No. Yeah, and they they wanted me to sell my underwear. They would buy it. Uh, there had been really weird stuff, like really you know um, I would say fetishes, which yeah. they want to. Um, you know, uh, experience through some of these artists. Uh, then um, another thing I want to really highlight is that uh, you know, back in the day, you know, when an artist is born, people really gather to go and support them wholeheartedly. But now, with the changing times, with you know, the whole everything is online, everything is digital. And uh, with with the change that has happened, people, even the artists, like the A-listers, up to the newcomers, they um, they buy literally. If you have the money, you can buy your um, subscribers, you can buy your likes, you can buy your views, you can buy dislikes, you can buy um, comments, you can buy literally anything if you have finances just to. to Support you, you know, so that really takes away from the authenticity and the, and it's, it's unethical and it's, it's it's immoral, I would say, because uh, it any that also proves that anyone who um, you you know now nowadays you can you come up with any song, mm. you can any material, you can just put it out there and you buy buy your way into yeah, uh, right. popularity and. I feel that is really unfair by the people who are really trying hard and I think uh, awareness should be um, brought into this, this, this uh, light should be shed and um, that these things don't happen but then I, who's to say that it won't happen because there's thousands of sites uh, selling bots, it's not even real people, uh, you know. Yeah. So, if people want to advertise, if they want to boost, and you know, you you uh, put it out to a demography, that that is fine because you're exposing yourself to a demography. But this is not targeted targeted advertising. Mm. This is buying yourself to bakery, literally. You know. So I mean, um, and I. I remember seeing some of these artists put music out and uh, you know we only have 22 million in, in Sri Lanka and they have like 20 plus millions and within a short span of time and I'm talking about rappers, I'm talking about all kinds of artists right and you really want to kind of it doesn't just doesn't make sense you know it's it's not being uh, if if it's truly you know authentic 
wholeheartedly I support support it. But this is just not fair by people who are really uh, trying hard to make amends and trying to make a life, a career mm -hmm. out of music. So um, I really like to highlight that. You know, and I want to bring it to people's attention that all you see is not what it is. You know, everything is just sometimes an illusion. Yeah. So um, be careful what you see and don't judge an artist by the kind of followers and the, what you try to portray. Okay. Um, so apart from music, do you have any other talents that you'd like to share with us? <laughs> so apart from music, I mean, I have... I've always pursued any everything that I've always wanted to pursue, and can it for whether it's music or it's fashion or whether it's uh, dancing or whatever. I mean, uh, other than that, during the lockdowns, I kind of discovered a different side to things. I uh, took this online uh, art class, which is even though I am an artist, I don't. I'm not a painter or draw. I mean, I, I have not really done any painting in school either. And so casually I was invited to do um, something called Zen Doodling, okay. right? And um, I took this art, art class, uh, her name is Anita, uh, Anita Malhotra. And uh, there was a whole heap of us taking the Zoom online art class. And uh, that's when I started realizing, okay, this is something that I want to get into. It's a very therapeutic art form and okay. it's, it's doodling. And uh, I, I realized that I, I had something that I never really discovered that I had. And uh, after that uh, art class, I started doodling and uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll send them to you. Nice, I'd so, like to see that. And um, besides that, um, I've always wanted to be an intuitive healer, mm -hmm. a metaphysician. And I've been, it, it was in the works for a long time, probably six to seven years. But the, the lockdown, the, the pandemic actually kind of helped me kind of really discover that side of me because I always wanted to be that. But at the same time, I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm performing, I'm, I don't have time. It was always a matter of time, right? And then when the lockdowns happened, uh, it really was natural for me. I, I kind of did a few courses online and certified myself and uh, and um, it's surprising what the universe has to offer for you because after that there have been plants that have come to me and got healed um, so much and so a metaphysician the, 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 the word metaphysical means to go beyond the physical to the mental cause behind it another way of looking at it is underlying every ailment or uh, there's a root cause and there's there's a there's a underlying problem in consciousness so every time there's something wrong within us every sick every sickness has a distinct pattern uh, that um, that when you release that negative uh, emotional discharge you you allow your body to heal mm -hmm. because we carry a lot of you know if you really look at our ancestral line our, our in general, you know, people carry so much of trauma, right? And um, these are all psychosomatic, genetic predispositions stemming from sometimes your your parents, sometimes your your grandparents, and and even without us real, realizing it, we carry all that. So when you bring awareness and consciousness, and um, I teach my clients to release them through meditation. And uh, once they've released it, I've seen healings take place almost immediately. You know, I'm not saying that don't take the medic medication, the conventional methods of healing, the doctors, yes, they are, they, are, they are here to treat us, but at the same time, they're, they're only treating the symptoms. So what I do as a metaphysician is release the root. Okay. So while you're taking medication from different sources, you also need to kind of help release the root. So when you release the root, you heal from within and out, uh, outwards. So it's been pretty amazing. Actually, it's, it's a new area yeah. for me. So it's, uh, I'm pretty passionate about it. It's pretty amazing. 
Thank um, you. So now going back to music, Natasha, what do you think the next like the challenges are for the next generation? Well, if the pandemic continues, uh, they're going to face quite a few challenges uh, because, um, you know, it really is, it boils down to what that situation is. I mean, if in, the, in the future, if this is going to continue, there is going to be a lot of changes. There's, going to, there's also going to be everything going into digital. Mm -hmm. And there is, a, there is a pro and con with, in terms of digital because, I mean, one of the days where you can really go into a concert and really, you know, you know, flip your hair back and just enjoy and yeah. just uh, really just give that energy to the, to the to the artist or whoever the performer is. But now everything is just viewed on this little screen, yeah. you know. And so those are the challenges I think uh, artists would have to face. But hoping that things will improve. But I I, I really I, I'm a person who thinks positive, so I'm hoping that things will really kind of, you know, there is vaccines, there is all these things that will help eradicate yeah. the, the, the virus and things will get back to some kind of normalcy. So I, I really hope and pray that the next generation wouldn't have to face what they're facing right now. Right. Yeah. Alright, well this has been an insightful conversation, <laughs> but before we end, would you be willing to do a little impromptu performance for the viewers of Living Gets Real? Um, we were wondering whether you'd actually perform your debut single. Oh wow, okay. Uh, I haven't sung that for a long, long time, but uh, let me see what I can, uh, what I can do. Great. Um, what if our days are gone and I know you ain't coming back home? That's for sure. It's not like I've been waiting for someone to come and ease the pain. I know I can't enjoy. I must admit that I'm surprised that even when you're gone, I still don't feel alone. Maybe it's your lying eyes, the ones that maybe show you out the door. Cause I don't need a man by my side just to help me get through the night. So boy, you better run away, cause I ain't going nowhere for life. I don't need a man to play this game. I don't even need a whole name. So you better run away, just run away for life. Oh, run away, run away, whoa, whoa, whoa. Run away, run away. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I just had goosebumps. <laughs> well, Thank it has you. been an absolute pleasure having you on the show oh, with us today. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you for, for joining us. Thank you. And that's all the time we have for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch the latest episode of Living Yes Real. Thank you for watching and stay safe.